Well, here we are. The last ever video in this flat. And the set can't come with us, so there's only one thing left to do. Computer. Initiate the self-destruct sequence. Authorization Manion 47 Alpha Tango. Set it five minutes and mute audio warnings until final countdown. Additional authorization required. You're up, buddy. Warning. Auto-destruct has been initiated. Detonation in four minutes and 55 seconds. There will be one additional audio warning. Hello there everyone and welcome to John Drinks, the channel in which I, John, have a drink and today we're against the clock so I'm gonna have what I am calling what John Luke Picard would drink if alcohol was still a thing in the 24th century. Yes, that's a Star Trek reference and there's gonna be a fair few of them in this episode because um, I don't think I'm gonna like this very much. It's a Beaver Town, Earl Grey and Bergamot Sour. I like Earl Grey tea, I don't like sours very much. Probably doesn't help the fact that it is out of date. Grand, cool. So, um, we're going to crack this open, and I'm actually going to have a bit of a talk about some of the things that are coming up in the world of Star Trek, because this seems thematically appropriate, given the fact that we've got about three minutes until the whole set gets blown up, and this is an Earl Grey Sour. Also, uh, just going to quickly interject, um, this is my favourite Starship design. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, um... This this is an Eagle Moss model. Um, it's called the Freedom Class, and it's fucking weird, because they've literally just taken a saucer and stuck an engine on it. Right, Earl Grey beer. What's it smell like? I'm going to guess Earl Grey. Kind of grapey in a weird way. Um, kind of smells a little bit like those, like sort of like cheap sours shots, almost. Um, not really get much tea off of that. Kind of, yeah, bergamot, definitely. Sort of a... Weird kind of tangerine orangey kind of a thing, but Earl Grey, not so sure. Um, anyone who's watched these videos before will know that I ain't a fan of my sours, so I'd imagine this is going to be over quite quickly. Ew. Oh, well, mm. Do you know what? As a sour, it's not the worst thing in the world, but... Oh, man, I just, I can't get into this style. I'm not hipster enough. Yeah, I'd say it's kind of like a cucumbery kind of a thing, if anything. I would not say there's Earl Grey in that at all, to be honest. That's probably going to go down the sink, to be honest, but yay. Anyway, still, you got to see my favourite starship. Um, another reason why I picked this, and it's not just because that I was clearing out the fridge and I was like, oh shit, I never reviewed this and I meant to do that like six months ago. Um, they recently announced that they were going to be making a Star Trek Picard series, and they released, well, I say released, there's a clip of it going around online, and it looks like they're kind of going down the sassy humour route, which is kind of odd, I suppose. I really should be talking about this a bit more, shouldn't I? But bottom line is I don't like it very much. So let's talk about Star Trek Discovery instead, because I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna hijack this entire review and talk about nerdy stuff, I suppose, whilst drinking terrible beer. Oh, God. No. Not for me at all. Jesus. Um, so, yeah. Star Trek Discovery Season 2. That was actually quite good. Actually, I really fucking liked it. I really like Christopher Pike, and I really like what they did with it. Um, also, that scene where he sees himself... Spoilers. That scene where he sees himself in the wheelchair. Holy shit! I still can't get it out of my mind. That's amazing. And I really like the final. I know a lot of people, particularly Trek Yards, have a lot of problems with it, and I totally get it. The fight made very little sense, and the Enterprise was totally like a clown car with all those shuttles coming out of it, but... I liked the scope, and I liked that it was just a big, whizzy-bangy, fucking circle jerk of nonsense. God, it actually gets worse the more you drink of it. How is that even possible? God. It's like vinegar and tea had a baby. Ugh, no. Um, so yeah, a new series of Discovery. That was great. I'm cautiously optimistic for the third series, because I'm interested in going into the future. And I'm also looking forward to the Bacar. Oh, shit, I've only got 30 seconds left. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, right, cool. We've got to, we have got to go. Mo, 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 gotta go, gotta go. Come on. Morning. 
Auto-destruct has been initiated. Final countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Detonation.